Hi all, this is Lyellen, ready for another Let's Play Clash at Demon Head. We are heading to rescue the hermit that the f sprite told us about, who's apparently at the bottom of the waterfall on Route 6. So we're going to go down the waterfall without a barrel, hopefully survive, and in the process we'll be rescuing our hermit. Which sounds very useful, he might, you know, tell us how to walk somewhere or something, I don't know. And there are dropping parachutes. So we're getting a letter. This is nice. He's going to send us money. I only have like $50,000, so that's good. And he's going to take care of Mary, my girlfriend. That's wonderful. But I'm more worried. So Jake's going to steal... Ooh. There's invisible enemies here, guys. I didn't know this. So we're going to get out of here. Sorry about that. But you just saw that there are actually invisible enemies in the game, and they do exist in a couple other places, so that's good. But I'm worried now that Jake is going to steal my girlfriend, which is a little disturbing for an NES game, but hey. This is the next of the annoying jump sequences in this game, which really is only annoying because you can hit your head on the ceiling, basically. There's like a certain height that you can jump, and if you jump any higher, you get... or if you try to jump higher, you get knocked down. And of course, they're leaving gold on the platforms, which I don't know why they do that. I assume they're like, they ran out of space in Fort Knox, so they just put some gold on some wooden platforms. Um, we'll kill the pumpkin head. Ooh! This statue must be the entrance! Of course! It's a statue! What else could it be? And we're now, I guess, underneath the waterfall? Now, there are, you're going to notice above me, there's another jumping thing I could be doing, but you eventually have to fall into the water anyway, and I really hate these jumping sequences, so I'm not going to do it. Sorry, guys. The gold's not that important. Really. You should stop saying that money's important. It's not money. It's love. Love somebody. And we'll be done with the water here. We're getting close to the boss, who, as we learned in the last video, his name is Rowdy, which is a great name. Um, and he's holding the hermit, which hopefully, if, if you ever play this game, you know what he's going to give us, but if you haven't played this game, you don't really know. So hopefully this is a surprise, and he'll give us something wonderful and joyous, and we can all be happy. It won't actually happen, but... And there's a heart here. And look, a door! But I can't get to that door. Why can't I get to that door? Oh. And we'll climb up here. Also, note, if you're low on health, you can drop down. The heart keeps on repopping, so you can always get it. And this monkey guy here, even though he has a nice cute little hat, is not rowdy. But we can kill him real quick get some money, and notice how the, hi the height of the place here goes up. If they had made those jumps in the platforms so you could do that, it'd be wonderful. But no, they didn't do that. I'm going to go in this door, and it's purple. I love purple. And there, there's a boss. It says Rowdy. I'm going to take the hermit back. And he uses Presumptuous, which I think is really cool that the a Nintendo game uses Presumptuous and Twit. Yeah, do it if you can. Now, he'll come running at you, he'll hurt you, but his knees are weak. So if you just drop and fire at him, he dies. I think he's pretty much the easiest boss in the game. It's a little disturbing. But that's the hermit. We'll talk to him. And I asked Faisha. I don't know what I asked her, but I asked her, and he should know that. I see. I have the power of the hermit now. And I can't leave without that micropower, which is what we get so we can leave through that door we just saw. Thanks for the power, Mr. Hermit! Now watch this. I could go into her... might go now, but I'm not going to. I'm going to wait until we get down there. Also, note, he gives you more life. We now have six bars of life, which, trust me, is very, very useful. And you can see that we're up there in the mountains in an inaccessible area in the other way. So we're going to go down here to the Hermit's Five Forces, and with that hot, nice music going on, we have the first which is micropower. So we're going to go micropower, and that's the small bang. But he jumps really high. Uh, he jumps the same height as the real bang. But he can fire the same size bullets, that kind of thing. And we're going to go through this ice world. You can't actually... The problem is you lose mini bang um, when you get hit. And either you wait like this for a while, or you get hit against this guy. See? There's just no way to avoid him. So I don't really care that much, so, which is why I'm just going to go on here, fight some enemies, and then we're going to get to the lava jump. Yes, we are in an ice world now, we're about to be in a lava jump situation. And it's a pain, 
and I keep on screwing it up, so I keep on having to re-record the video, because it only brings you back to Route 6, the entrance, which is really annoying, guys. So hopefully we'll make it this time. I can end the video, go get a piece of cake, I don't know. So yes, here is the jump. You can't actually make it there. You have to make it here, immediately jump, and then climb onto this wall. And now we get to climb for a while. There's some bats. We're just going to climb through them. They're going to hit us. It doesn't matter. They'll disappear once they hit the side of the screen. They go away. Uh, and if you watch, I'm really sticking my butt out pretty far, which is a little disturbing. But, you know, I've got a nice house. So that's okay. Pixels are great that way. Uh, really slimming, in fact. And we're going to keep on climbing. I have no idea why those platforms are there. You don't really need them. You can fall down this place. If you climb on the other side, you'll see when we get out of here. But the other side is, is virtually impossible. You have to actually leave again. If you climb on the other side, you're un under that overhang and can't do anything about it. So we're going to... I guess we'll kill these for, you know... Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm just going to run by here. Get hit for no obvious reason. And here is the statue. So that's it for this episode of Let's Play, and we'll next time be moving on to fight more bosses. Have a good night.